Homie, Andrew here. Today, I'd like to teach you how to find the percent compositions of sodium, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen in sodium, hydrogen, sulfate. Take a look at this table I've made. First, we're going to find the total mass, and then we can find those percentages easy as pie. Take a look. Bam. So the first thing we're going to do is write the elements we see in the compound. So we've got sodium, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript at the bottom of that particular element, simply just plug in a one because that's what it is assumed to be. So sodium has one atom there in sodium hydrogen sulfate. Hydrogen is one, sulfur is one, and oxygen, therefore, is a four. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each particular element. Those masses are found on the periodic table, so let's take a look. So here, sodium is 22.99, hydrogen is 1.01, .01, sulfur is 32.97, and oxygen is 16. So we're going to write those on in. So 22.99, hydrogen is going to be 1.01, .01, sulfur was 32.07, that's a weird, it's a weird three. And then oxygen is 16, all right? Then we're going to find the total mass of each compound now. Uh, by simply multiplying the row on a cross, okay? So for sodium, the total mass of sodium in the compound is going to be 22.99. Hydrogen is going to be 1.01. .01, sulfur is going to be 32.07. And then oxygen here will be 64, all right? Now to find the total mass of the entire compound, then all you got to do is add up all these total masses of each individual element, okay? And it's simple. It's 120.07. And there you have it, right? That's the first step of the process. We have now found the total mass. Now I'm gonna add a column to the table to now find the percentages of each. Ready? Bam, so to find a mass percent of sodium, we're simply gonna take the total mass of that sodium, 22.99, divide it then by the total mass of the entire compound, 120.07, and multiply that by 100. Now you do not have to worry about the units here because they will cancel, all right? So that's 19.15% uh, of sodium. Next, hydrogen. Take the total mass of the hydrogen. So you're only looking, by the way, at this column. Divide it then by the total mass of the entire compound, 120.07. Multiply that by 100, and it's a little itty, teeny bitty percent. Um, kind of got a little tongue tied there, right? Point, uh, and uh, I'm getting brain tied now because I can't seem to write the correct value. 0.84%. Um, anyway, sulfur, 32 then. Take the total mass of the sulfur divided by 120.07. Hopefully this is like, oh my goodness, okay, I get it already. That means you're doing enough practice, okay? That's how it should be. So now you found the total percent of the sulfur, and what are you going to do for oxygen? You're going to take the 64. I'm not going to include the uh, zeros there, but consider the significant figures when you do your calculation, because um, nobody wants to lose 98 points on their exam. Uh, so this is 53.30%, okay? And that's it for oxygen. And what you can do, by the way, is to check yourself, you can just simply add this on up, and it should be equal to 100%. Depending upon how you round it, it might not be exactly. It might be off by one hundredth, but uh, you should be basically right about there. That's all. That's it. Isn't that simple? Now you know how to find the mass percents of sodium hydrogen sulfur and oxygen in sodium hydrogen sulfate. You can apply this process to any problem now you need to do for percent composition. So nice and easy. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take care.